is going on, everybody? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K18 2019 Realistic Rebuild. And today, we are doing a Philadelphia 76ers Realistic Rebuild. So, you guys have been showing great support. I'm actually kind of pre-recording a bunch of these videos because I will be going to Chicago from Sunday to Tuesday. I'm seeing the Cubs game on Sunday and a White Sox-Yankee game on Monday. I did get my dad uh, for Father's Day um, Chicago tickets. Uh, he's a Yankees fan. I'm sad about your Mets fan. I know it's kind of different, right? But um, yeah, so I'll, we're going to Chicago then. And then from Wednesday to Friday, I'm going to D.C., Washington, D.C. with uh, three of my friends, and we're seeing a Nationals game. I think they're playing the Braves one of those days, which is kind of cool. So I will be probably away from here. So there won't be a stream this Sunday. There is a slight chance I might stream on Saturday, but I don't even know when you're going to see this video. So there might not even be a stream Saturday. Uh, you might just see this video. I don't know yet. But um, yeah, so we are doing a realistic Philadelphia 76ers rebuild. You guys have been showing great support in these videos, so I can't say thank you enough. Now, I do plan on adding another star to this team because that'll make this fun. And I don't know what position because we do have about one more year of cap space before we got to pay Sarge and Simmons and stuff like that. So I don't know what we're going to do. Obviously, like Chandler, Reddick, Bayless, all going to let walk. Fultz, we got to bring him back. Simmons, obviously bring him back. And then Johnson, going to let walk. Sarge, obviously bring him back. Smith. And then, yeah, maybe we'll, tr maybe we'll find a trade for Covington. I don't know, just the fact that he's making... I mean, he's making... He's going from 16 mil to 10 mil. So, that's actually pretty solid. Um, so, if I'm going to kind of do this rotation, I know immediately I do want to send Smith to the G League. I know he was, what, the 12th pick, 14th pick, and then traded. But look at how many guards we have on this team. There's no reason for him to just play this year. We can ride him on the in the G League. So, it's going to be Simmons, Redick, uh, Fultz will be the sixth man. Sarge, Covington, yep. Because we need shooters. We need shooters out there. There's no reason Fultz, who's not really a good three-point shooter. We saw him shooting last year. He can't shoot the ball. And Ben Simmons already can't shoot. And, yeah, so we need another shooter out there. So Reddick's going to be there. Uh, McConnell, you're going to get, like, 10 minutes a game. But you're going to be the ninth man. Uh, we do need a big man off the bench. Chandler, you can get, like, 18. I want to give Fultz 25. Who's the big man that could play? Is it really going to be Muscala? I thought they cut him. Oh, well, it'll be Mike Muscala. He's going to get 14 minutes tonight. So we're going to do this, 36, 30, 30, 32, 32, uh, 32. And then we're going to do 36. Uh, then we'll do two more here, one more here, and then two more here. So that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. We'll see how far this team takes me. And yeah, well, I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. So Mo Bamba wins rookie of the year and six man of the year is Vucevic. We went 35 and 47. Bad, I know. Look at this. We started off the year 0 in 15. I've never seen this before in my life. 0 in 15. Like we also the Hawks by three, Pacers by six, seven by the Rockets, six by the Jazz, two by the Kings. Like what? Yo, I don't know how we started off so bad. And we did obviously didn't make the playoffs from that. I mean... After the 0-15 start, what'd we go? We went 32 in 35 and 32. I mean, that's all right, but yeah, we didn't make the playoffs with this team, I guess. I guess this just wasn't good enough to make the playoffs. I wonder what Smith is up to now. Like, what's his overall? Uh, it is a 78. Okay, so he'll definitely get some playing time next year. Here are the stats, though. Don't know how we didn't make the playoffs, or we went 0-15 to start off the year. Oh, well. So I will see you guys um, in the offseason. And yeah, we'll see what we're going to do. All right, so at least we'll have a lottery pick. I did not expect to do this bad, but we end up with the 11th pick in this draft, which I will definitely take. Now, what I want to do is I would like to add another shooter. I guess we're fine at power forward. Um, oh, I forgot to get Jimmy Lynch. Damn it. Um, so I forgot to get... Um, we need a new assistant coach. Let's get... Uh, can we make a push for Buzdak? But yeah, I forgot to get an assistant coach. And... Um, Wait, okay, now I, don't, now I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so I want to get another shooter, right? But Ben Simmons and Fultz, I really don't know what to do with these guys because I clearly want to play both of them. One option is moving Ben Simmons back to small forward and getting a good shooting guard, keeping Fultz there. What we could do is get a good point guard. Like, I could get a good small forward, keep Ben Simmons a point guard, move Fultz to shoot, uh, shooting guard. That is another case of what I could do, but I'm still kind of torn if I want to make, maybe make a trade. I don't know. Um... I mean, I don't think I can really get somebody that good. Like, I'm not even going to bother. So, we have the 11th pick in this year's draft. I'll see you guys with who I take at rookie signings. So, with the 11th pick, I did take a small forward O'Shea Brissett. And I don't know where he, where did he go to Mississippi State. No, Syracuse. Uh, Jordan Brown and this guy, this foreign guy. So, I'm cool with this pick. I don't know if he'll be in the G League or not. McConnell, 1.6 mil. We're not actually going to bring him back yet. Muscala had a player option. I'm going to look to move that. 
Um, we might have to throw in a future first to get rid of him or something. Korkmaz, 2 mil, eh. Ashton McConnell, 1.6, we'll bring back. So, there is some good free agents. Jimmy Butler to this team would be very interesting. Um, that could be a case. I think he would maybe be interested in signing to this team. If we threw him a max deal, he would want to win. So, first of all, I do want to get rid of the Mike Muscala contract. Like I said before, some Muscala. Anybody else that I kind of want to get rid of? Uh, no. So, Muscala, and I will package... Maybe we could do two seconds in Muscala because it's a one-year deal. Could a team that's not good, like Sacramento, maybe give me, um, like, some crappy player? Kings. Um, like, give me this artist guy. Okay, never mind. Give me... Okay. Um, no, we're going to go to, like, the... Who is, like... Uh, we're going to go to Brooklyn. And they're going to give me a future second in 2022. And we're going to give them two seconds. So they're basically getting two seconds for the price of one. And we have to give them a player, which maybe they'll use, maybe they won't. So I think that's a pretty fair trade. So I hope we do have enough because this is like 35, about 45 mil right there. I don't know. I think we should be able to go after a max deal. I don't know if we're going to be able to bring back JJ Reddick because I know he's already going to get a deal after day one. Um, oh, we don't even have bird rights on JJ. Uh, yeah, so he's got a sign with the Cavs, it looks like. But JJ, uh, Jimmy Baller has zero offers. So I think giving him a nice $30 million deal. Uh, for four years till he's 32 we're gonna front load this deal um yeah we're gonna front load this so we're gonna pay him we're gonna get jimmy ball here clay could have been an option but i think we're gonna go jimmy i did get clay i believe in my fantasy style one so we're gonna get jimmy butler we are gonna renounce the rights on most of these other guys also i would like to pick up a better backup big man so we might have like 10 mil left over brooke lopez okay vucevic we're not gonna be able to get deontay davis wants way too much honestly Brooke Lopez, we could go Thad Young. Hmm. You know what? I'll get the veteran presence of Thad Young. Got a two-year deal with 8.6 mil for Thad Young. And we do bring in Thad Young. So Thad Young will be our backup power forward. So now with this team, I think Ben Simmons is going to go back to small forward. And then Fultz will be point guard, Butler shooting guard. Covington will come off the bench. And yeah, I think we're going to be pretty solid. And I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, guys. So we're at training camps now. I don't know if we're going to have like an abundance of players. Let's see. So we have one, two, three that deserve playing time four five six seven eight i guess nine yeah so we're good because we could send brissette to the g league and i know he was what the the 11th overall pick before anybody goes oh you never can send an 11th overall pick to the g league yes you can when you have so many other players they're just not gonna find playing time malik monk was in the g league this year because they had so much playing time to give or they had very little playing time to give to him they want them to develop down there that's what we did with smith last year and that's what we're gonna do with brissette this year so we're gonna send faults on tap potential we're also going to do the same with Sarge, and then we're also going to do... Oh, we only had two. Damn it. All right. So, I heard if you get a trainer with A-plus, like, training potential, you can get four training camps, which is which is pretty insane. So, um, I'm going to fix this rotation. Give me one second. Okay, guys. So, I set the rotation. I'm going to set Brissett to the G League. We have Fultz, Butler, Simmons, Sarge, Embiid, Covington, Young, Smith, McConnell. If we start off on an 0-15 streak again i'm actually gonna be pissed but we are fourth according to nba.com six according to 2k sports and fourth according to mark spears we should be a playoff team this year not like last year and for some reason disappoint heavy so yeah we should be fine and i'll see you guys at the end of season number two all right guys so we had a very good year this year we went 55 games we go 56 and 26 two seed in the eastern conference behind the toronto raptors rj barrett rookie of the year he was the number two overall pick for the grizzlies miritich six man of the year Defensive player of the year, Drummond, Norman Powell, most improved, coach of the year, Steve Kerr. And if we go here, Joel Embiid, on Embiid first team. Let's go 21-11, 4.3. Okay. Do you guys think Joel Embiid's the best center in the league? I still like DeMarcus Cousins. I know his injuries is going to affect him. I think it's like 1A, 1B. Cousins is 1A, Embiid's uh, 1B. Uh, ben Simmons, on Embiid's second team. I did pay him and Sarge a lot of money, so they're on the team for the future. And then we added Jimmy Butler, which is just a pretty pretty nice addition i would say so yeah we're not gonna be making any more plays in free agency uh jimmy not bad stats i'll take it from him and obviously him and mb the defense is just incredible so yep here are the stats i guess sarge is technically a little bit overpaid for what i gave him yeah i kind of backloaded the deal too so we'll be making 26 million one year so maybe he is a tad bit overpaid faults 10 and a half seven and a half i'll take that from him points per game we were fourth allowed points per game we were also fourth and we were second in point differential so we are taking on the Pistons in round one. I'm dreading I'm dreading that realistic rebuild to do. It's going to be tough. But, you know, we're going to figure it out somehow. We're going to do it. Game one, we do win. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. 
and we lost game four and we win in five all right chicago 2k love chicago in the sim so we'll see how this goes game one we win game two we win we're up two to one up three to one and we win in five we win the first two series in five probably gonna take on toronto yep toronto one and two seed versus the two and the four seed game one we win okay we win by nine Kawhi drops 30 mb 27 and 14 starts 23 and 3 um very nice game two we pick up the win okay by 14 jimmy drops 17 kind of a low scoring game and we're up three to oh okay our first 3-0 series lead and this is our hardest opponent and we swept the raptors okay okc versus philly here game one we win okay we blow them out by 21 very nice game two we win game three we win and let's go we're about to win a title in year number two so obviously we might have a chance to win two titles in this video i'm gonna hop in this game and i'll see you guys when we're about to win the title so zary smith's in the game okay he's got nine points two rebounds three assists sneaky good game from him off the bench covington open from three you can't leave him open splash money right there from covington he's got a quick 14 or a nice 14 and he's got 17 and 14 simmons has 21 points 12 rebounds and seven assists oh my god and he's got A- minus Perimeter D. Covington has A+. Plus. Butler has A+. Plus. Smith has a B+. Plus. And then Embiid is just obviously one of the better defensive centers in the league. A+, plus paint, A block. Ooh, this team defensively is insane. Oh, how'd they get that? Oh, yeah, Muscala ended up on the Thunder. So it looks like Brooklyn traded him there. Or actually, no, we've had a... Um, no, yeah, he did. Um, so Butler, kick it to Smith. Can you shoot? Oh, kick it to Embiid. Um, Embiid on Muscala. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, wow, that was a... I got bailed out with that foul, but Embiid's going to have 19 if he makes both these free throws. They are not shaking my screen, so I guess they gave up already. Okay, maybe they're doing it a little bit, but Embiid knocks that down. Very nice. And yeah, McConnell's in. Why is McConnell in? I kind of want Fulton. in. Um, I kind of want the starters in, to say the least. Yeah, and they took out all the starters and the benches in. Um, Roberson, I guess you can leave him out there. Roberson and Covington, this would be a very nice defensive matchup on them two. Neither one of them would score. But I think, uh, what Covington, he got all, all, uh, defensive second team. I know how great of he is as a perimeter defender. I know he's very elite at that as well, but I think Draymond deserved it a little bit over him, but he's still an incredible defender and he's going to be making $10 million for the next three years, like every year. That's a pretty nice contract for him. As long as he can shoot well from three and just be not a liability on offense, which he usually isn't. That's a very nice contract for the uh, Sixers. And, yeah, so Muscala for three. He could shoot the three? Yeah, that's what I thought. Joel, uh, he is so big on the floor. Um, yeah, Joel B, do you want to pop into this three? Oh, baby, the dude's a god. So we're going to figure out with who won finals MVP. I'm going to say Ben Simmons, but it definitely could be Embiid. It is Embiid. Oh, my God, in the four games, he basically had 30 points, 13 and a half boards, three and a half assists, one half steal, three and a half blocks. Oh, my God, 50% from three. Dude, 7-1 center. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we're probably not going to do anything in this offseason. Uh, we'll keep McConnell around or we'll try to at least. Actually, I mean, we do need another. Like, I want Brissett to play, but we need a backup point guard. I mean, Smith is kind of like a combo guard. Like, he's 6'5". I could play him at point guard more. So, maybe we will uh, let McConnell walk and we'll roll out a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 team. I mean, like, that could be the 9 players. So, I feel like, yeah, that's what it's just going to be. I'll see you guys at the end of the offseason, and I'll show you guys the rotation for next year's season, or I'll see you at training camps. All right, so team player options. We're going to bring back all these guys, but, yeah, McConnell, I'm just not going to bring back. Uh, I think I brought back everybody. Like, I brought back Sarge and Simmons midseason. I don't think we have any free agents of our own. Draymond's got four offers. He's going back to the Warriors. Is Kemba going back to the Hornets? No, the Bulls outbidded him. They gave him four years. Um, well, basically the Hornets did because they gave him a player option. I don't know who's more annually money or annual money. So yeah, McConnell, we're not going to bring back. So yeah, that is pretty much our team. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, so we're at training camps and we are going to send, I guess, uh, we'll send Fultz again and we'll probably send Sarge. So we're trying to go back to back. So we already won a title, which is nice. And yeah, Brissett will be getting minutes this year. So we'll obviously Smith. So Fultz, Butler, Simmons. Okay, good. They want to play Smith as the six man now. I, I still want to give it to Covington so Covington's gonna get 24 Smith 19 that young 16 we'll do 15 and Brissett um and 35 Sarge 32 Simmons 35 Butler we'll see 30 okay we're gonna go 30 to Sarge actually 
Uh, we're going to go 34 and then 32. So yeah, that's going to be for me now. I will see you guys at the end of the season. Obviously, the goal is to go back to back. So hopefully that is the case and that's what happens and i'll see you guys at the end of the third and final season and we win 60 plus games this year so last year what we go 56 and 26 and even changing in or exchanging mcconnell for brissette we do even better so we are 63 and 9 right now damn we're good 64 and 9 i guess not having a backup point guard kind of is bad i probably i don't know it's probably not a smart idea to do but uh, clearly it's doing better in the sim as we are 67 and 10 we are pushing for the the record uh we could tie it by going seven actually no they went 73 and 9 right yeah never mind they went 73 and 9 but we go tie whatever bulls team that was 96 we go 72 and 10 and bead mvp i will definitely take that uh percent does not get rookie of the year as we do get coach of the year and brett brown and bead on be first team ben simmons on be second team mo bamba also there as well shout out to sheck west featured in i think no bystanders on the album on uh Astro World and no other sixers butler all defensive first team that's what i like to see and brissette does get our rookie first team actually that's pretty good 11 and 5 in how many minutes did this guy get 15 it's pretty solid it's pretty solid we had to be one of the best offensive teams we're taking on an atlanta in round one who have mellow um who actually he went back to the hawks after the buyout uh here are the stats for everybody if you want to pause and see brissette actually averaged double digits wow that's pretty solid maybe he should have been the six man points per game we were number three allowed we were number three and first in point differential so obviously one goal here is to go for the repeat as we sweep round one i probably should not have did current round because that never goes my way so we're gonna simulate current round here against the or simulate game by game against the bulls we are up three zero and we sweep them we are eight and oh take it on toronto nine and oh nine and one ten and one ten and two 10 and uh 11 and 2 okay so we're 11 or we're 12 and 2 in the first three series oh i wanted kind of golden state i wanted to see what we could do against them uh do they have their core still curry katie clay cousins and what the hell and minnesota beat them and watch a sweet minnesota we're up 2-0 3-0 okay yeah we sweep them finals mvp is joel Embiid. okay yeah i kind of wish we had the warriors i'm surprised minnesota beat them without jimmy butler we what we have butler Wiseman, Cowell, Pope, Wiggins, Towns. I guess Towns and Wiseman are just godlike together. Okay, and then Cowell Pope is the butler replacement. They still have uh, Tyus Jones. They still have Jeff Teague. Uh, no, but they have Jeremy Lin. Wow, okay. I'm surprised that team went to the finals, but yeah. Um, that is going to be it for me. Hope you guys did enjoy today's uh, realistic Sixers rebuild. I will be having challenge videos out this week too, as well as some NBA content. So it's not going to be just 2019 rebuild. So don't worry about that. Um, I, I think this is going to be going out on Saturday, and I have no idea what's uploading next. This is kind of the first video I'm pre recording. So yeah, that's going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.